Welcome back to my Let's Play featuring Sweden in Empire Total War. I've uh, just managed to win a battle against Paul Lithuania, who besieged my city of Courland after I was stupid enough to out-resolve a battle and lose half my force. However, I played this one myself, as you can see in the last episode, and I won a close victory. I managed to lose about half of what he did. He has almost no men remaining. That is what happens when you mess with Sweden. However, there we go. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen next turn. So, uh, yeah, joy. However, I do have troops in Sweden. I can probably use them as reinforcements because now I have a fleet nearby. Hopefully that'll work. Uh, I'll try it out. See if uh, see if they have enough moves to get over there. Hmm. Interesting. And this guy is still being a boss. Still being a huge boss, just infiltrating everything. Um, fortunately, Russia now has... As you can see... Uh, together, that's a full army almost. And I have nowhere near that. That's going to be a very interesting battle. To say the least. Now, let us see if I can actually save Corland. Do I have enough moves to get over there? I do not. I do not have enough moves to get over there. Not completely. I do have enough moves to conquer the city again if I lose it. Captain. Looks like this might be one of the shortest episodes ever. Alright. Let's see what I can do. I can at least land them in uh, Quarland. Maybe that'll be enough to scare them off. Who knows? I can try getting peace with them, but I doubt they want a peace. Uh, want a peace right now with their big army outside my borders. Uh, if I give them Ingria, they'll have peace. If I give them Ingria, actually, uh, I'm gonna consider this seriously. Because if I give them Ingria, then Russia will stop being mean at, mad at me and will stop being mean to Poland, Lithuania. And since I have Estonia and Livonia and Courland, I don't actually need Ingria, even though it is a big city. I haven't upgraded it that well yet. Um, this is something I feel I should seriously consider. What if I give him Courland instead? What if I give you Courland? Is that something you would accept? That is something they accept. Okay, you know what? Since I'm at war with so many people, since I Russia now has a huge army over there, I feel this is something I can accept. I can accept losing Courland, which is a province I didn't start with anyway. That is a fair trade, in my opinion. And my army got kicked over there. Hmm. I was actually going to be quicker to just go to them. The fleet next time and drop off in Ingria. Okay. Now I can focus on Russia and to finish off Denmark. This is good. This is good. I know some people uh, don't want to give up land at any cost. That's not me. If it serves a purpose, uh, I'll do it. And as you can see, you know, calling this ruined. There's, uh, it's completely destroyed. You know, all the towns are destroyed, and I can take it back later. For now though, um, let's see, I don't actually want Denmark. I don't want Denmark. What do I? The problem with Denmark is it's across the sea here and if I take it I have to deal with Hanover and uh, actually just Hanover. It does so. You know what, I'm going to take Denmark even though he has a massive army. I have just as many troops as he has or more put together if uh, you add all my troops up. Order.
There we go. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So there's a lot of stuff going on, apparently. And how much money do I earn? Okay, I have I have a nice income now, I feel. Uh, I have a sustainable income, and it's quite high. So I'm quite happy right now. Uh, I don't really want to move my army here because, as you can see, they're not too happy. What happens if I move my army? Yeah, they're very unhappy. I'll move one guy in. Uh, Lowest guy. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah, see what I mean? There you go. Can move this guy, though. And yeah, that's just going to decrease during resistance to foreign occupation. Uh, I'm also going to lose repression. Why? Well, even though, uh, anyway, that, that'll even out. So I'll do that. I'll send this little army down. And they're going to help conquer Denmark eventually. The only thing I have to be careful of, of is that Denmark actually has a fleet down here. That is quite sizable. They can take out my fleet I'm sending up here quite easily. So I have to keep an eye out. I might have to land my troops in Norway and march them to Stockholm, just to be sure. I'm going to build a new trading port over there right now. I can afford it. And it's time to take out the gentleman. Oh, wrong, wrong way. There we go. I think this might be one that I'm actually going to win. Who knows? <laughs> oh my god, that is just so stupid. I hope, really hope that was my guy. No, oh, that was the Russian, of course. Russian shooting himself in the face. As you can see in internet videos everywhere. That's kind of the stuff that Russian do. So. Let's go for Plikta for his freck hit. Oh, gotta love that. Oh, yeah, that's, the, that's because I gave corner. Okay, that's fine. Uh, my rake is still. Uh, the only problem now is that I might lose Ingria this turn. I might. Yeah, or I might just have a big battle and actually win it. He does have quite a few cannons, though. He has one, two, three cannon batteries. And uh, even though Cossack infantry is the main infantry type he has, they're actually worse than mine. A lot worse than melee, actually. Hmm. So if it comes down to a battle, I should definitely use my troops in melee. Uh, his line is 8, 11. What am I have? They have 6. Okay, so they have 2 less attack, but 2 more defense. They have 7 morale. They have 7 morale. Mine have much more accuracy. This is 25 reload. These guys, I can't see, okay. Oh, this guy. No. Hmm. Either way, it's going to be a close one. But my guys are apparently better at shooting and better fighting than his guys. And he has <laughs> another force over here. And he has some special cavalry. Damn Russians. And he keeps sending gentlemen over to my area to steal all my technology. Okay, let's have a turn and see what happens if uh, I have a battle this turn or not. I know I have. I think Ingria is, uh, use the second technical term, screwed. For now. I do have quite a big army on the way back, uh, on the way that's going to take it back. So, it'll be alright. sent that one away and he's an okay he might have seen my big army and is starting to worry or he might just be gathering up and uh, just going for total annihilation killing everything I have who knows Russians are not exactly predictable are they Barbary pirates yeah, sure, why not? Hell, you'll stop attacking my ships, I love that. 
They haven't actually attacked my ships yet, but they would. So, uh, damn. Nice. That's never happened to me before. We've seen this one before. He lost. Great. That means I can get back in. Uh, back into my schools. And I should not forget to build a trading port right there. That's great. That's great. How's my army doing? That guy needs. Should be fine. I think uh, this is a sufficient garrison to protect over here. I don't know why I have cavalry in the garrison, to be honest. It's kind of a waste. Uh, yeah, that combined with a fortification, a settlement fortification, and uh, the Phylogam citizenry, which can amend the guns, that should be enough to hold this, uh, hold this town against a very sizable army. Order! Now, I am going to send this fleet over to Denmark and see where his fleet is. They are still there. Uh, and he's, he's still building his fleet. He's still expanding. That makes me a bit worried. So I'm gonna have to stop making shits as well. Uh, break. That's better. More hull strength. But less cannons and less men. But more firepower. I'll make a break. Yeah, I'll make a break. Now, this one. Um, does that work as a trading port? If I make it a trading port? I am not sure. However, I do have... Harbour village right there, so that will become a trading port eventually. And I think, yeah, there's another one there, which will become another port that I can make into a shipyard. So, happy days, happy days. I can, okay, I can upgrade my farms, that's great. Scoot on the slog, Ferdy, Captain. Who can I as to what he's going to do? You see, he's just, he has this very sizable army. Redo. Very sizable. Makes me a bit nervous. Ah, I've still forgotten to repair my uh, military governor in Antigua. In the new world. I should probably get around to doing that soon. I do like that it's a military governor though. That means I can actually make troops over there if it's necessary. If I do end up in a war with uh, the UK or France or anyone that owns pointers over there, I could start taking them over, which would be, would be very fun. It looks like Poland Lithuania is building up troops over there. He might attack me again. He might break his uh, his word and just backstab me. So, who knows? Still sending gentlemen. Why? 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 He hasn't learned his lesson, has he? Captain! Aye aye, Captain! I'll get another break. That Danish fleet is uh, scaring me quite a bit. Looks like they would, they've been withdrawing completely from this area. The thing is, I need this army. I need it to defeat um, to defeat Denmark. However, I also need it to protect against Russia. Now, what I can do is go into pitch battle and defeat Russia in the open fields. However, he does have quite a lot of army of people. He does have quite a bit of cavalry. He has artillery, though I yeah, think I have artillery it. superiority. Actually, we have exactly the same amount three each. So. It's not something I want to do. What if we build an ordnance factory over there? Upgrade my farms, upgrade my farms, more money. And all the other good stuff, more of population growth. And lots of uh, good, good stuff. 
Now, if since I have such a big army nearby Russia, maybe he'll accept peace. Who knows? And I can take down uh, Denmark alone. No, definitely not. And you, you don't, you don't want an alliance with me. I cannot ally with an ally of your enemy. Not Which is quite logical, to be honest. I didn't really expect that to work. Now, I do have a little money to spare. Let's see what I should use that for. If hell, about it. Just... order. Four guys away. Um, if I leave. Job, if hell, about it. One, two, three, four, and one cannon. Cannon! That's not enough, is it? Yeah. How about these two guys as well? Actually, let's leave a whole lot of uh, line infantry here. From over. Here are order. Eight and six. Okay, so I have fourteen Redskott. over there. Ja, Should be fair over there. Be fair over there. And I'll use. I'll send these guys back. I'll just make a break over here. I'll stop building it over there. And I'll stop some construction. This way I can make some more line infantry over here, which I can use to take Denmark. This way I will have an almost full army that I should be able to defend against a full army with. And in uh, Ingria, or St. Petersburg. And I'll be able to attack Denmark at the same time. Even though Denmark has a ridiculously large army and he only has one city. I don't know what he's doing. If I attack that army, actually. Oh. He split up his armies, and uh, the thing about this, is, as uh, I'll show you in a second, is that I can take out some of his army, but that'll put my army and my city at risk. It's gamble, basically. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, these guys right here. I can take these out quite easily, you know, I have more than enough people to do that. However, if I do, then this guy will be able to run all the way up there and take me out when the turn ends. And uh, if to escape that, I have to keep going north into Karelia. Because if I withdraw here, you know, I won't be able to go very far. He'll be able to get me anyway. So to avoid getting crushed by him, I have to go north into Karelia. That leaves St. Petersburg open for attack and he has two big armies down here. However, I do need to defeat Russia in some way. Either, you know, I have to take some cities or defeat some armies in order to make him... Uh, or in order to make him yield, basically. Now, if I do this... That is a big army. That is a full army, actually. And that army could crush pretty much anything, I feel. And I feel I should use that, this army to defeat him. However, this is a good army. I am going to attack him with this army. Problem is, I cannot reach him. Right, I'll wait another time. I'll wait another turn, see what happens. But this is a good army. Five uh, cavalry, three artillery, uh, one general. Actually, there's an odd number of... Uh, 11, and uh, I have an odd number of line infantry. That's not good. Okay, I'll send the crap cavalry unit out. Okay, uh, there we go. Now a 12 line infantry. That should do it. it really should. I'll just stop this recruitment anyway, because uh, I'm not going to be able to build another full army and support it. I don't have enough money. Not nearly. So I'm actually going to disband these guys. That was a big waste of money. But I really can't afford to 
keep them. Now and I should upgrade my schools. However, money is an issue, as it has been a lot of this game. Ah, and loud demons are good too. He lost, of course, because he's Swedish. <laughs> yes, the Swedes always lose. Anyway, uh, I'm going to make more Indiamen. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make more Indiamen. This way I can make some more money. This is something I desperately need. Now, this guy. I don't want to move this fleet. Because of that, he might go from there to blockade Malma. Which sucks. However, I don't want to leave it within range of that fleet either, because it has people on board. So I'm going to land them in Norway. There we go. I have a little spare money. That is actually fine with me. I don't have to use it. I should buy a great arsenal though. <laughs> great arsenal. Actually, I can just repair these guys. Uh, we fill the unit thingy stuff. That'll do. That'll do for now. Uh, the reason I built this ship is that I was going to transport uh, these guys all the way over to Sweden. But it looks like I'm going to have to deal with Russia before I do anything like that. Now I'm going to pause my uh, gameplay making video right here in case because this is getting very ever to be a very long episode. Actually, let's let's see this battle here first. So let's do that one. I'll uh, end the episode then. This is going to be my biggest battle to date in the Battle of War. And yeah, see, he went after that that navy just like I knew he would. Which is why I dis uh, well I disembarked my units first. Now that fleet is actually quite tore up, which is why. No, he, okay, so he's probably bankrupt or something. Uh, well, he's not bankrupt because his troops aren't leaving him, but he doesn't have enough money to repair or anything. He's resource max with all these little ships right there that he has. There we go. These are still within range to intercept anyone who tries to take Malma. And I've joined my fleet together, so I have a respectable fleet right there. Bigger than his. I have as many sixth rates and I have more support ships. So I'll send this guy into Christiana to Norway. Give them a bit happy. And now is the thing I bet a lot of you have been waiting for a huge pitch battle between Russia and Sweden. I do think this is going to be quite easy, to be honest with you, because he has a lot of Cossacks and a lot of line. However, I am going to do it since it is the biggest battle I've had. So I'll see you in the battle.